Crafty Chef Diamond here. How are you today? I'm doing great. Um, I have, I don't know, I guess a mix, mix match kind of thing going on today. Um, sorry you're not seeing my face. I ate some chipotle sauce on a burrito and my lips didn't like it. I got busted up lips and they're cracking and they're bleeding and I don't want to be on camera. I had a horrible reaction to some chipotle sauce. Not good. Not good. Hopefully they'll be healed by next week. Maybe we'll see. Um, I've got, I don't know what to say. You guys all know I'm back to work and I want to show something. Check this out, man. This stuff is called the Naked Bee. You know, I work with a lot of chemicals and of course my hands look like they're a hundred years old after working with all kinds of chemicals. This stuff, oh my gosh, look, oh my gosh. You should have seen my hands before. I mean, they, they, I still have like chemical messes because I work with bleach and different chemicals and sanitizers and all that good old stuff because uh, everything has to be sanitized for the kitties. But I got this at the airport. And I found out that you can get this on Amazon. It starts like at 11 bucks. Um, you get uh, 2.5 fluid ounces. But you know what? It's worth it. You just need a little dab. It smells great. And uh, yeah, so if you have, if you're working with chemicals or you work in a hospital or your hands are just, you know, all of our skin is going to be changing as the weather changes for the seasons. I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, I get that weather skin and it start your hands start to dry out, your lips start to dry out. So it's time to stock up on all that stuff. But I'm going to tell you, this stuff is really good. Okay, so I have a Timu order and uh, it's kind of a different Timu order. And I have a little bit of diamond painting related item. And um, at the end, if you stick around to the end, you'll know why I have a weird order. <laughs> Okay, um, so I, I don't know if you're supposed to be showing these or not, but now they've changed. Timu has changed their bag. It's your, your regular trash bag now with their Timu sticker on it, and they just shove everything in the bag and tape it to death and hope that it gets to your house in decent condition. Um, it is a budget company, and the uh, as long as it's in there and they do put an air hole in there so it doesn't build up any condensation in travel time. But this is their new packing system. Maybe the orange bags were too expensive. I don't know. They're making a lot of money off of us and now that we are now down to a Timu tape. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this nasty thing because they're, they're dirty. The postman doesn't care. Um, okay. I just said what I wanted to say. Um, uh, also, before I get rid of the bag, I don't know if I've already shown this on my channel. You guys know that not only do I craft, not only do I work with food, but I'm a runner as well. And I am with YesFit. Um, it's virtual running. And I earned my Beauty and the Beast um, medal. I had to run. It, it, this is an odd number because normally an average full marathon is 26.2 miles. This one you had to do 26.7. Um, right now I am working on a Monarch um, medal. You have to do over 100 miles, which I am now in training for uh, the virtual run for Walt Disney World, which I will be running in Virginia uh, the same time. Not the same route. I, they're going to be running at Walt Disney World. I'm going to be running in Virginia, um, but I'm following the same time that they start kick off uh, their start time as well as I will kick off my start time in Virginia. So anyways, uh, this is, oh, do we have glare? I'm sorry. My Beauty and the Beast medal. And this is by Yes Fit. And if you'd like to do virtual races, um, you can do this all on the internet. And it has a be look at the, look at the, I did this in the month of June, completed it in the month of June. Like I said, I don't remember if I, if I um, showed it to you guys, um, but this is what YesFit looks like. And they, if you have Samsung or an Android phone through your um, health fit, you can log your miles and everything and it, and and you want to link it to yes fit and you can do you can walk you can i don't know about swimming uh, uh yeah if you have a garmin or something that's waterproof yeah and then if you wanted to it has yes fit on the back 
and then you can write your times or have it engraved on the back. I thought that was pretty cool. I am working on a Monarch butterfly right now, and uh, they just came out with some really good uh, virtual races. I did sign up for the Run Disney Summer Series, and I haven't received my kit yet. It's been over a month, and I'm not like waiting to see if I get uh, a tracking number or something. I always hate having to track companies down because if I don't hear anything within the next, I'm going to say two weeks, I, it's like I have to track Disney down. I cannot stand it when I have to do backwards footwork to find out, hey, what's going on with my order? Okay, without further ado, let's get started on this Timu order. I ordered a lot of stickers. And like I said, if you stick with me to the end, you'll know why I have these stickers. Uh, so let's start off with this. Uh, I paid $1.78 for it, and I believe there's uh, 50, maybe 150 on the roll. Oh my gosh, I just put cream on and I didn't bring up, any, okay, we're good. <laughs> I didn't bring up any scissors. So this says, fragile, handle with care. And these will be going on Christmas boxes and some of my other boxes. Yep, fragile, handle with care. Uh, $1.78. Um, okay. There's another one. I think the amount is 150 or 200 stickers. I don't really count uh, uh, what the quantity is, um, but it says 100% original handmade. Isn't that cool? Again, 100 original handmade. I like that. Oh, did I tell you? Um, two bucks. All right. Uh, this is something that I got for my job as well as for my mailers. Um, now, the ones that I have at my job, are act they, they look just like this, except for when the water hits them, they dissolve. I don't think these are going to dissolve for $3.48. These are not dissolving stickers. But I thought they would be cool to... Um, if I'm for my mailers for uh, expiration dates and all that good stuff. So you have, um, my dog is crying, I'm sorry. Items, the date, the time, the AM, the PM, used by, and then the initial of the person, say if I have a volunteer in the kitchen and they want to, uh, they're going to date some of my food, they put their initials in there in case the health department comes in and they wanna do a spot check and they find uh, a violation, it tells you right there, you know, who who put that in the refrigerator and dated it. But that's pretty cool. I think there's like 50 or 100 of them on here. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so this works out good in the food department. Or you can do this at home in your freezer if you do pre-mills and you're going to freeze your stuff. And then you have a record. Um a lot of times when you put stuff in the freezer, I know I, I'm a stickler with dates. I don't like to keep anything in my freezer for more than 90 days, even though it can be longer. Unless you uh, have a, you take all the air out, then maybe up to um, six months to a year. But I'm, I'm real. I don't like to do that too far in advance. So these stickers were three dollars and ninety eight cents. And it says, warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's pretty cool. Again, this is going to go on some of my mailers. Dexter, stop. His sister's not upstairs with him. I'm upstairs and um, he's like, where's, where's my sissy? So he likes to cry. Okay, these ones here were $1.98. I think I've got like 100, 150. And it says bakery. Isn't that cool? Oh, bakery. And it says on the very bottom right here, handmade. Hmm. Are you guys getting the hint? I, some of you might already know why I have some of these stickers. <laughs> and again, these were two bucks. All right. Then we have, you know, I'm a cook and I like to decorate things. And like to do things for the kiddos but I thought some of these would be cool uh, for putting in envelopes mailers just fun stuff and these were a dollar 78 I believe you get 50 of them better keep this side so I can keep I'll have stickers everywhere but it's all everything is food related there's an apron 
There's a mixer, measuring cup. This is everything I use at my job. A teapot, a blender. This could be a Vitamix. A serving tray, a stock pot, silverware. Except for in my business, you go, we call this business right here. In the way I store my silverware is business face down. Okay, because you don't want nobody touching the handles. They always want to touch the top. So you've learned something new today. Another stock pot, coffee cup, cutting board, a grater, more stock pots. Let me see. And we got some mittens. Another mixer. So we just have all kinds. Um, scissors. I use scissors all the time. Great, great kitchen tool. I cut chicken up with these. I cut pizza. I cut everything with scissors. You just have to keep them sharp. Um, we have a lot of utensils here. I just like it. Measuring spoons. Just gives you an idea. We got a ladle. Okay, so I, I oh, look at that, a butcher knife, mm-hmm, fork. So those are some of the Timu stickers. Love it. This is all food related, okay? So put this over here. This one, um, I think it's 50 sticker, stickers, and it was $1.78. And guess what, guys? It's all cookie related. Does anybody know why it would be cookie related? Do you have an idea? <laughs> Do you have an idea? It says, I can't have cookies to bake. Oh, I love cookies. You're one smart cookie. But these are all cookies. There's 50 of them. Um, love freshly baked cookies. Cookies make the world a better place. Yes, they do. Chef Diamond's cookies make the world a better place. All right. We just have different kinds of smart cookie. Just, these are all cookie related. Oh, look at the kitty cat that's uh, chocolate chipped. <laughs> oh, that's mine. Mm -hmm. We'll work for cookie dough. Who wants to work for cookie dough? Eat more cookies. Okay, I love cookies. So those are all my cookie stickers. What is this one? I'm the real cookie monster. All right, so those are cookie stickers. Put those over here. And this one was, what was this one? $1.85, I think. And again, it's more food-related stickers because I'm a foodie. more cookies uh, thanks for making my first birthday oh that's cute so if that person's name is Tommy we got um, a jar of cookies <laughs> gave me cookie you got cookies okay we got waffles this is all food related all cookie oh look how beautiful that cookie is Mm-hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Got some sugar cookies there. Milk goes good with cookies or coffee. Oh, I like that too. Yep, so these are all food related. Oh, look, a cookie sandwich made with uh, ice cream. One smart cookie. Mmm, look at that muffin with a cookie on top. All cookie and bakery related. All right. Yep, okay. What's this one? It's cookie time. All right, so those are all bakery food related stickers. I don't know what I did with the... All right, one more. This one was $2.48. And again, it's baking related. Has anybody figured out what I'm gonna show at the end? 
uh, baking makes me happy, baked with love, you bake the world a better place, trust me, I'm a baker, uh, bake the world a better place, so there, there's different ones, uh, baking addict, bake the world a better place, so we got repeats in here, world baking camp, champ, sorry, uh, I'd rather be baking, that's a repeat. But it's all the same sayings, but with different pictures. Yeah. Okay. Never underestimate the woman who's baking and was born in January. Okay. All you need is love with flour. So these are all baking items. Just a girl who loves to bake. Yep. Baking world. You always bake with passion. Baked with love. There's more bake, uh, bake the world a better place. Oh, I like this one. Oh, look at the crown on top of it. Isn't that cool? I like it. The rolling pin and the whip. Uh, baking is my therapy. Let's go. Uh, let's go and bake the world a better place. Yes. So these are all baking related. I bake people happy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I don't always bake. Yes, I do. All right, guys. So those are my baking stickers. All right. Get these out of the way. Now the diamond painting related item. I thought this is cute. Again, it has to do with food. And they're coasters. And um, this was $9.89. You get your pickle tray, wax, stylus pin. I am donating all of these to the art department tomorrow. Get all of our crystals to make my coasters. This one actually came with the cork. Pretty cool. And how many are there? I think there's eight. They're stuck together, guys, but one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's eight of them. Okay, so you get the nice little tray, and these make great uh, Christmas gifts. These are all gnomes, but they're bakers, they're cooks, they're chefs. He's holding the pan. Isn't that great? French bread and all the bakery stuff in, in the back. Wooden spoon. Oh, I hate it if there's glare. It's all this plastic on top of plastic on top of plastic does not like the light. Somebody's making some bread here. I see some wheat. Looks like the flour right there. We're gonna get ready to flip some eggs or grab a pizza out of the oven. Cool, like it. I like the black and white. We have the rolling pin, some vegetables in the background. Ah, it looks like a turkey leg, maybe. A turkey leg, he's holding it. Mmm, that's making me hungry. And the last one is uh, more, spat. that looks like an egg right there. And the spatula, pretty cool. All right, so those are going to be fun to do and make a great gift. Like I said, it comes with the um, the corks already. You have your holder. And then you have your crystals. I would definitely, if you're going to do these for a gift for anybody, I do all my crystals. I would seal them um, because they are, the stickiness is on the edges around here and when you go to seal them you can put the uh, glaze around the edges and then it, you can do whatever you want and they're good no more sticky I either use polyacrylic or liquid tex a lot of the crystals I'll use liquid tex um, my large budget paintings I will use the polyacrylic so we have some gold smoky gray uh, very light blue, a rust, kind of like a brick color, green, 
champagne pink, black, orange or tangerine, red, and silver. Oh yeah, to make all the chefs come alive. Oh yeah, and there's lots of, there's a lot, all this background here is all going to be in silver. Yeah. So that is my Timu haul. It was short, sweet, to the point. Does anybody know why I have all these different stickers? I have something to show you. Everybody knows I've been sending out cookies. I do have a cookie list. I do have a random cooking list, cookie list. And some of you are on it. Some of you are repeat per people on there. I'm getting to the time of the year that I think it's the best time to be able to send out some more cookies, but I want you to test my cookies and I'm going to show you um, what they look like, what I do, because some of you are new. And um, But I do have a list and then in, in the, you'll get like a survey and it's basically um, you're rating my cookies. There's going to be um, five different cookies that are come in a package and then each one you'll get five rating sheets and all I asked is that you send this back to me with your evaluation, okay? And uh, comments or suggestions. And this is what I do, you guys. I have double chocolate chip. This is peanut butter and Reese's peanut butter cup. This right here is kind of, it's a, it's a double chocolate with white um, chocolate morsels in it, but it actually, it's kind of, I'm gonna touch it because these are not going anywhere. My husband will eat these. Uh, it's crispy around the edges, soft in the middle, and it's like a brownie. Some of you have already received the macadamia nut cookie. It does have coconut in it and your macadamia nuts. Uh, this is the double chocolate cookie. It is huge. So if you like to have a lot of milk or coffee with your, uh, and you want to dump them, dunk them, you can do that. This right here is a red velvet, like if you've heard of red velvet cake. So you have your red velvet cookie dough, uh, white uh, chocolate chip morsels with your dark chocolate morsels in there. So you're getting a red velvet cake in a cookie form. And again, um, this one is nice and soft, or it might be a little crunchy on the outside, but soft in the middle. And close up, oh, this one's nice and soft because it wants to break because I have a huge piece of Reese's in there and it just broke. So that tells you how soft it is. And it tells you, um, there's the inside. That's all the, the peanut butter in there. And it's quite big. I didn't mean it for, for it to break, but it, it's been sitting here for a little while. And then also, um, I am going to do a test on some shortbread. I want to make short bread blocks to where they could stand up, maybe put five or uh, five or six of them in there and then put a tie on the top. This is something else that I've been testing. I do make croissants and um, I've been testing the texture of it. I made this on Friday and it's still, it's very nice and soft, but I had it out in the open. So it wasn't, I had, I wanted it to be exposed to the air. I do a lot of testing. <laughs> more than you know and then I send all this stuff to my husband's job and make all the, everybody eat it uh, but yeah this is one of the croissants that I make and uh, yeah and then I glaze it with egg wash and then I bake them so um, so expecting whoever's on my list some cookies um, if you haven't sent me your address my email address you can get a hold of me through instagram everything's in the description box so uh, i think i have 20 testers so far and i will let you guys know if i need some more all right so this has been great i just wanted to show you what those stickers are for i am looking for more packaging um the first round of cookies that i've sent out to everybody were in like little tupperware containers um so I'm looking for something that's less cost effective, but then keeps the freshness of the cookies. And then I got all this, you know, all this stuff. I was wrapping them individually. I came up with another concept. To, I found a little cookie bag um, where I can zip tie it at the top. I've come up with different stuff. So uh, don't be surprised if your some cookies are in different types of wraps and you can evaluate them with the the sheet that I, I'm sending to you. All I ask if you guys send this back to me. The cookies are no charge to you. 
I, the only thing that you guys have to um, do is give me your um, what you thought about the cookies and throw a stamp on an envelope and send it back to me. I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, um, because I need to do testing in case I, I have been thinking about going into the cookie business and I need you guys to help me out. All right. Love you all. And I will be doing some international shipping as well to see how well it uh, turns out. All right, guys. Have a great day. If you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Um, I don't normally say that, but I thought I'd give it a real. Um, every month I try to set a goal for myself, for my subscribers, and um, it's worked out pretty good. So anyways, uh, take care, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Crafty Chef Diamond is out. I'm going to go make some cookie. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some dog biscuits today. That's another one I want to, I'm working on. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.